Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Aaron Parrish, owner of the popular Pop and Squeeze food truck. Always delighted to see you guys at events. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're here talking about the this Sunday's Topeka Food Truck Festival. So good morning, welcome to the show. Good morning, thanks for having I'm, me. I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about the food truck festival. Oh, I yeah. just perked up as soon as I heard that this <laughs> event was coming our way. Yeah, we're excited. So give us the details now. What's going on? It's happening at Gage Park, right? Gage Park at the Westlake Shelter House and Amphitheater starts at 11 a.m. goes till 5 p.m. So a great Sunday afternoon with the family to come on out, enjoy some food. Tons of entertainment and tons of free activities, mm -hmm. too. All, all right. Yeah, let's get into this now. First of all, the weather. I think it's going to be on our side. We've yeah. had a whole 100-degree-plus <laughs> heat wave coming yeah. our way, but it's going to be cooling down for us on Sunday. Yeah, cooling down Saturday and then even cooler on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we're super excited. Yeah, so definitely get out, get some food. What food trucks are signed up so far? What can people expect to find there? Yeah, 18 total food trucks. Wow. So I'm not going to name them all. Okay. But, uh, yeah, obviously, Pop and Squeeze, uh, Pop and Minis with their donuts. Uh, the Burger Bus, uh, we have Stumpy Smoked Cheese, uh, Flavor Wagon, uh, tons more. And mm -hmm. the, the best part about this event too, and some people might not know, is every vendor, every food truck, every entertainer at this event are from and currently live in Shawnee County area. Wonderful. Yeah, so this is a true mm -hmm. local event. When, when, really when cool. you hear local event, yeah. Sometimes that's kind of... It's like, it's it's local, the event's here, yeah, but yeah. You know, people are coming across the country sometimes. Right, that's right. So, that's so cool that... But yeah, this, this event is truly everybody. in Topeka and truly full of local artists and small businesses, mm -hmm. so... That's wonderful right there. And yeah. I know, I, I think I saw you posted that a lot of the trucks are going to have kind of new menu items for this event. Yeah, yeah. So one of the marketing... Um, ideas uh, one of us had was to um, introduce a new item mm -hmm. if you'd like at this event um, so I'm we're introducing um, our new prickly pear flavor uh, to add to eliminate or limeade uh, pop and minis they're doing um, maple maple bacon donuts that sounds really mm. good. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting so hungry right now. <laughs> You'll hear my stomach rumble, possibly, with this yeah. microphone. Yeah, and then uh, the other one I know is uh, DJ's Catering. He's going to have um, um, lobster rolls. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way, is, way out there. We're gonna, <laughs> this is good. We're going to be eating well on yes, Sunday. Yeah, yes. that sounds great. Yeah. And let's get into the so many entertainment now. I saw um, Kyler Carpenter is going to be popping up for the, some of the kids. The yeah. Shawnee Heights. Drumline. Drumline is going to be there. And Paradise Band. Yes. Yeah. So let's start first. Uh, Kyler Carpenter, he's going to be on from 11 to 1. So kind of just kicking things mm -hmm. off. As, um, and then we also have My Gym. Yes. Um, they have two sessions, one at 11.30, one at 12.30. So kind of going on at the same time, but over in the kids' area. So, yeah, what will the kids be able to do with my gym? Um, yeah, so getting out there, it's kind of, I, I describe it as like a kid's jazzercise mm -hmm. type of deal. So Fun. kids get out there and they get to dance and go along with the music. Um, and then at 1.15, uh, the Shawnee Heights drum line is going to march in, play some cadences. Um, and then, yeah, uh, the Paradise Band, uh, 2 o'clock, they go on on the amphitheater, mm -hmm. and they play until the end of the event, so until 5. Awesome. Yeah, get some food, enjoy some live music. It's going to be a great time. And oh, this yeah. is this event's free, right? Completely free to the public. Can't beat that. Yeah. Um, all you got to pay for, really, is food and drink. Um, but all the entertainment's free, and uh, I mentioned earlier, free activities. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, so many, kind of activities we got so many free here. activities. Uh, we, we're going to have inflatables out there for the kids. There's going to be a foam pit. Um, have you seen the foam cannons? I, uh, uh, have, have I don't you know not if seen I have. Them? Oh my, uh, imagine just a big cannon mm -hmm. and it shoots bubbles and foam. It's crazy. <laughs> Kids love it. It, <laughs> it creates a huge pile of foam and they just dive in there like a pile of leaves. <laughs> you're you're going to go there. You're going to find a, an adult me playing yeah. in the, in the, with the foam cannon <laughs> and in the foam pit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we have a free face painter, free balloon artist. Um, uh, it, so many free activities for the kids, so much stuff to do. And then uh, you have everything that Gage Park has to offer mm -hmm. as well. You oh, have the, the playground, the zoo, the Discovery Center. It, this event is a, a way for the family to come out, have some fun, and make a day of it. You know, don't spend all your time at the festival. 
maybe go to the zoo first, yeah. come on over, get some lunch, finish the day over at the Discovery Center. So, so many, that's, so many options for families right um, to come out and enjoy the day. And I know you guys have a raffle going as well, the, with money going towards the Boys and Girls Clubs of Topeka. Yep. That's yep. A, wonderful. Like with the, with the, I think basket raffle. We were mm -hmm. items from the food trucks. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Um, we have many donations from the food trucks. If it's gift cards or uh, I know Snowy, they donated some some stuffies. It's uh, polar bear, mm -hmm. polar bears, and uh, so many different items. Um, we also got some donations from Discovery Center and Zoo. We have tickets um, to those places, um, as well as the Shawnee County Parks and Rec donated uh, tickets to the carousel and the mini train. So, um, so many great uh, baskets are going to be out there for you to buy tickets for. And yeah, like you mentioned, all revenue collected um, from the basket raffle will be donated to the Boys and Girls Club of Topeka. That's so nice. they're graciously out there with us, um, enjoying this beautiful weather, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, donating their time and volunteers. Um, and uh, yeah, it, this is our way to not only promote the local small businesses and entertainers, but then help support a local charity. Mm -hmm. It is fantastic. It, yeah. I, I love that it's, I love the, the localness of it. It's, mm. it's everything. It's all connected. It's great yep. that you guys are all coming together for the community right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aaron, thank you so much for joining us today. This has yeah, been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. And I am very much looking forward to the festival this I, Sunday. I am well. I, yeah. And of course, to learn more about the Topeka Food Truck Festival, you can go over to Facebook, check out the Facebook page, and be sure to, of course, check out Pop and Squeeze when you're